Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Plante part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now try to understand the process of reproduction in algae because reproduction is one of the important aspects of every living organism. Now in reproduction they will reproduce both asexually as well as sexually. Now by this time we all know what is asexual reproduction, what is sexual reproduction. I am not going to talk about all those things now in detail because I have already spoken about all this in our in class 9th. So asexual reproduction we need just one parent. In sexual reproduction we need two parents which will fuse together to form the new organism. So let us first talk about the asexual reproduction in algae. Now there are different modes of asexual reproduction. Fragmentation is one of the mode of reproduction in algae. What happens in fragmentation? The parent organism breaks it fragment. What do you mean by fragment? Fragment means pieces. So now here in this case what will happen one organism will break into different pieces and each of the, those pieces will give rise to a new individual. Sounds interesting right but that is how it happens in case of some of the algae. Let us take the example of Spirogyra which reproduce asexually by fragmentation. So now if this Spirogyra breaks into multiple species on maturity that means when a Spirogyra becomes mature it breaks into different pieces. Now each of so you see it, the body got actually divided into three pieces and each of these pieces are then capable of giving rise to a new organism. So you see this is the first portion, this is the middle portion and this is the last piece. Each of these pieces were, uh, were capable of giving rise to a new organism altogether. So what do you see? There is just one parent involved here. You do not need two parents. And how many daughter organisms are produced? Three daughter organisms are produced. So this is what happens in fragmentation. Another mode of asexual reproduction in algae is multiple fission. What is fission? Fission means splitting. So multiple fission, that means one organism splits into multiple organisms. So in multiple fission, multiple means many. So that means many new individuals are formed. How are so many individuals formed? By division of the nucleus. So the nucleus divides repeatedly to form multiple organisms and that is known as multiple fission. This multiple fission is most commonly seen in uh, algae like Chlamydomonas. So it takes place during unfavorable conditions. So this type of fission occurs only during unfavorable condition. Now how does it take place? What happens is that during unfavorable conditions, cyst formation takes place. What is cyst formation? An outer covering will develop during unfavorable condition. Let us suppose if this is the cell. Now in Chlamydomonas, there is one cell. Let us consider this is that one cell. Now when the environmental conditions are unfavorable, this cyst wants, um, this cell wants to protect itself. How does it protect itself? By creating an outer covering. This outer covering is the cyst. So this is the cyst. So the cyst protects it from the unfavorable condition. Now what happens inside? So inside this cyst, multiple fission takes place. That beca that's because the division of the nucleus happens. Now when the nucleus divides, the organism divides into multiple organisms. So from one organism inside, now you have multiple cells inside. Now when, then what happens? This cyst breaks up and it for, gives rise to so many organisms. So everything started with one organism and then you ended up getting so many organisms, right? So this is how multiple fission take place. There is another way of asexual reproduction that is by spore formation. So let us see what is this by production of asexual spores. So what are these asexual spores? Now these are a type of spores which are produced by the algae and then those spores under favorable conditions they germinate to form a new organism. You can compare this uh, with the, how you plant a seed. So when you put that seed give it sufficient water keep it in well light and all what happens a new plant grows from that seed. 
So similarly here also the spores is nothing but it is similar to a seed which under favorable condition germinate to form a new organism. So these asexual spores which are produced are known as the zoo spores. So the asexual spores produced in case of algae are known as zoo spores and the part of the plant which produces these asexual spores is known as zoosporangium. So zoosporangium is the uh, reproductive part and it produces the spores called zoo spores and these zoo spores germinate to form a new algae. So this is how the entire cycle takes place. Let us suppose if this is a mature algae. Now with passage of time the zoosporangium part will actually give rise to the zoospores. So these are the zoospores. Now then these zoospores will germinate to form the new organisms. So the zoospores will germinate to form new organisms. So here the zoospores are produced. Right and this portion is the zoosporangium which produces the zoospores. Now talking about the zoo spores, these zoo spores are motile that is they can move from one place to another. They are motile that itself means that they are flagellated because if they have flagella only then they can move. So if they do not have flagella they cannot move. So they are flagellated motile zoo spores. So since they are flagellated, so these zoo spores when they are produced by the zoo sporangia they can reach to some other place because they are motile or they can carry it away to some other place by some agent. So when they reach that place and under favorable condition they can germinate to form a new algae. So this is how uh, the algae reproduce asexually by spore formation. So these are some of the methods of asexual reproduction, fragmentation, multiple fission and spore formation. Okay, so now let us look at the sexual reproduction in algae. So we already covered asexual reproduction, but let us see what happens in sexual reproduction. Whenever I talk of sexual reproduction, we will have to talk about two gametes. What are gametes? They are the sex cells. We need two sex cells which will fuse with each other to form a new organism. So in order to study that, we will have to know what are the two gametes in case of algae. So sexual reproduction is a fusion of two gametes. Now there are many different types of algae based upon whether these two gametes are similar to each other or they are different from each other. So the first type is isogamous. Iso means same. The word iso means same. That means both gametes are similar in size. So if both the gametes are similar in size, that type of algae is known as isogamous. However, the size only has to be similar. Now, they both can be motile. They co both can be non-motile. One can be motile, one cannot be motile. So that, that is flexible, but their size should be similar. So they are known as isogamous. Examples of isogamous algae is Chlamydomonas and Spirogyra. So if you look at Chlamydomonas, in Chlamydomonas, the, both the gametes are of similar size, but the gametes are motile. So the gametes are motile and they are of similar size. Whereas in this case of Spirogyra, the gametes are non-motile. That is, they cannot move from one place to another but they are of similar size. So these Spirogyra and Chlamydomonas are examples of isogamous algae. The next type is anisogamous, aniso that is not same. So gametes are dissimilar in size. So if one is larger the other one has to be smaller. So again example of anisogamous is some species of Chlamydomonas. So now see whatever examples I am giving you right now when I say Chlamydomonas, Chlamydomonas is not a species, it is a genus. So even in that genus you have many different species of Chlamydomonas. We have already spoken about genus and species in our previous lesson, right? So we all know what it is. So some species of Chlamydomonas have isogamous whereas some species of Chlamydomonas are anisogamous that is they have um, gametes of different sizes and the third one is oogamous. Oogamous is one gamete is large 
and non motile while the other is small and motile so basically this oogamous is a combination of isogamous and anisogamous so here the size is different so one is large the other one is small but in isogamous and anisogamous only the size mattered their motility didn't matter it can be motile it can be non motile but in this case one gamus one gamete has to be large and non motile the large one will be non motile and the other one will have to be small and motile so a very i mean specification is given what kind of gamete it has to be so then they are known as oogamous the example of oogamous algae is volvox so in case of volvox there are two gametes one gamete will be large and non motile that is non flagellated it cannot move the other one will be small and motile small and it can move can you tell me another organism where you have similar type of gametes that is one gamete is large and non motile while the other gamete is small and motile exactly human beings in human beings also sperms are small and they are motile they can move whereas the egg is large and non motile we have spoken about these details in our reproduction lesson of class 10 okay so these are the different types of algae based upon their um, reproductive so let us see how the sexual reproduction take place in an algae so in this case what will happen there will there are two gametes let us say one is a male gamete and the other one is a female gamete so let us say this is a male gamete and the male gamete is known as antherozoid so this is a male gamete there is another female gamete let us say the female gamete is the egg so what will happen these two gametes will fuse together so fusion will take place and as a result of fusion a zygote will be formed right now this zygote then will release the spores so the spores are released what are those spores the spores are the zoo spores now these zoo spores what are these these are nothing but they are capable of germinating so now they will germinate so the spores will germinate and this will give rise to a new colony so i have taken the example of this oogamous that is volvox so in volvox a colony is formed so a new colony will be formed and again this new colony later will give rise to a male gamete and a female gamete and this cycle will keep on continuing right so this is the life cycle or the sexual life cycle of an algae so this is how the cycle keeps on continuing so now that thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again